Hey everybody, it's Joshua Watts. I have a new build for you today. Uh, this is not a tooling uh, video, it's just a, an assembly video um, of a journal that I uh, created for a client who has a escape the room business. And uh, yeah, so I, this is just me putting it together. Uh, you can see right now I'm just putting on some uh, double-sided sticky tape uh, that I'm gonna it's just easier than and faster than gluing it down but I, I've never had the, the tape fail um, and you just peel off the back there and you stick it down so the pages um, if you seen my last video uh, they're they're tattooed the leather I'm using um, that I tattooed it on was sheepskin so I took a like a faux leather and I just I double taped it onto the uh, to the actual leather uh, and that way I'd have more pliability. And then I just sewed it directly to, uh, to the leather to give it extra strength. I mean, obviously I'm not going to depend on the, on the tape itself. Uh, but I did this too also, cause when I go to do the actual binding, when I assemble the pages together, um, you know, I'll be able to go right through the fabric instead of the leather, uh, so the machine I'm using here in this clip that um, you're watching is a Singer, I think it's a 4452. Uh, it's one of their heavy duty sewing machines. Um, it, it works great. I've tried it on some thicker veg tan and it was struggling. Uh, I think that I was using two six ounce pieces. So, I mean, I have a Boss Tipman or Tipman Boss, I'm sorry. Uh, machine so when I need to do th thicker stuff I'll just you know I just use that machine but for the thinner stuff I mean this machine works great uh, I even think uh, Tandy Leather Factory now even sells these very machines now if you're going to use one of these Singer sewing machines uh, you should use one of the heavy duty industrial needles it does come with a, a, a pack of uh, the industrial, the real thick needles. And those are definitely the ones you're going to want to use when you're sewing the, the leather. It actually comes with a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, there's different kind of feet that I don't know anything about. Um, but in a, a couple other accessories too, uh, like a stitch remover. But here you can see, you know, it, it does a pretty good job of stitching. Uh, my line isn't all that straight, but... Uh, so now in this clip, what you're seeing is I'm gonna just be applying a bit of edge coat. So the piece of leather that I have in my hand is a piece I cut out that's gonna be the actual binding of the book. So the the brown skin side there uh, is going to be the outside piece. So I just took a little dauber, I think it's one of the smaller dauble, daubers that uh, Tandy Leather sells. And I just used the Phoebe's a black edge coat and I just tap it right on both sides of that just so it's it's nice and you know it looks more finished and professional now the leather for the binding is is also lambskin uh, and I use the lambskin just because it's so nice and soft and pliable even with the the stain and the finish on there it's still really nice and pliable and then there's the the side with the edge coat on it <clears throat> so what I'm doing now is I'm actually uh, sewing the the pages all and there's there's seven pages and I'm sewing all of them together. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward process. I'm just poking a hole with a sewing awl and then I'm actually using um, these needles you can get at your leather supplier that are for like latigo lace and stuff and you can just twist them on they thread on. And um, I'm using uh, juke cord to uh, sew it together. So once I have the, the, the cording through the, the uh, cloth binding on the pages, I then grab the actual binding that I just put the, the edge finish on um, and poke two holes. I kind of guesstimate. I don't want them right on the, the corner edges, uh, but more toward just the, the middle of the binding itself. And um, so yeah, poke two holes through there. And then I wind up pulling the, the cord through and then tying it. And this needle's pretty thick too. So it, it 
it uh, is a little bit difficult. And I just use a standard double knot here. And what you don't see is after I trim this um, and after I get the whole book assembled, I wind up actually taking um, some CA glue, just regular um, uh, like super glue that like woodworkers would use and uh, just putting a little dab on the knots themselves so uh, they shouldn't come undone. So yeah, now you see I'm just doing all three of the, the ties. And you know, you're gonna see the juke cord on the outside of the back of the binding, which, you know, if this is gonna be a pirate book, I mean, it's just gonna look cool and authentic. As a matter of fact, I've gotten a lot of feedback already uh, from my client and certain forums uh, that he posted it on uh, and a lot of inquiries and actually a lot more potential business uh, to do more of these types of journals um, for other escape the room businesses. So this third one, I'm just going to tie it up, place my knot, and trim it. Easy peasy. You can see how nice that the pages they open and close. Now here's the cover of the journal. Now, like I said, this is not a tooling journal. I mean, a tooling video. Um, so that's not what this is about, but all I'm doing here is I'm poking holes cause I'm actually going to, uh, rivet the, the binding to the cover. And that's just that, that's how it's going to be. You can see my nice holes there that are not lined up, which I kind of did on purpose, you know, thinking that was a book built back in the 16, 1700s. And they just kind of threw it together to have something to write in. So here I'm poking the holes into the sheepskin of the binding or the lambskin. I keep saying sheepskin. Uh, and this is where the, the rivet caps are going to be placed on. So here I'm just using antique rivets. I think they're about a medium size. And I'm placing the bottoms on the inside of the book. And then uh, I'll put the caps on the uh, outside of the binding. Uh, they're antique. They're textured. Uh, these are uh, brass. So I'm just going to use my setter here. It's just a regular setter you can get in any any rivet uh, kit. Uh, and then I use a regular old hammer to just wind up making sure that the, the caps are set all the way down. And you can see how nice that, that looks, how authentic it looks. Uh, my, like I said, my client was very happy. Now what you didn't see earlier was me marking the holes. It's a very simple process. First, I'm going to stretch out the leather just a tiny bit, and then I'm just going to use a stitching awl. Uh, that way, you know, it goes through the, the lambskin very easily. And then, uh, you know, that way I know where to poke holes. They're going to both match up exactly uh, when I go to set the rivets. So it's the same process again, just poking more holes into the rear cover. Um, you can see it's already been uh, edge coated, stained. I've got my maker's mark on there. Uh, and the, the covers are actually made out of saddle skirting. That way I didn't have to use any like wallet stiffeners or um, any of the, or dual layers of leather. Uh, that single piece of leather is thick enough uh, for the actual cover. So again, I, the same process uh, once more. Right there you can see that's a bad uh, mail into a rivet that I got. And uh, good thing I found that and didn't just throw it on there and try to hammer it out because that could have caused some harm to the the internal uh, sewing, you know, potentially. So I'm setting these last, last five rivets here. I'm going to tap them down one more time. And we're just about done. Now I'm just going to cut off the excess of the binding. I'm not going to do this perfectly, uh, just to keep it more with in line with the authenticity. Now the, the blade that I'm using there is by a company called Slice Products um, out of the Bay Area in California. Uh, they make uh, uh, like a glass infused, uh, I don't know what to call it, like a some sort of carbonate. Anyway, those blades don't hardly ever dull. Uh, dull. I actually use them on my swivel knives too. So the last little bit that you're seeing here is just doing the last bit of edge coating. I'm just touching up the, the ends that I just cut off. So everything's sealed up nice and um, looks cohesive. Now you'll notice on the pages that I didn't do any edge coating. Um, and that was 
to stay in line with authenticity. So here you have it. The book completely assembled. It's a nice thickness. It opens very nicely. And you can see the bottom rivets there. Each page turns with ease. All the pages are tattooed. Uh, like I said, the client was very, very happy. Um, even with the blemishes that are, were actually in the leather themselves. Uh, he, he loved that, the, the whole look. So there you go. There's my big fat thumb. And the book is, is complete at this point. And I actually wound up making two of these. So there's the cover. Um, and there's the, uh, the inside. So if you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, like the video, share it. Uh, check me out on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, links will be in the description. Thanks for watching, everybody.